All right, let's dive right into the latest in AI this week. If you're into staying updated on the cutting edge, make sure you hit that subscribe button now. Seriously, do it. Okay, first up, we've got some big news on the agent front with Runner H. So, Runner H. This is H Company's new AI agent, and it's designed for agent orchestration. What that means is you can give it one prompt and it can trigger and coordinate multiple AI agents to plan, build, and deliver entire workflows. Think about it. Delegating complex, multi-step tasks across web apps, documents, spreadsheets, and more, all from a single instruction. H Company just launched the public beta for Runner H, alongside Tester H and Surfer H. They're positioning these as next-generation autonomous AI agents for both enterprise and consumer markets. It's pretty interesting because they claim these agents are cheaper than some of the rivals out there. Runner H specifically is highlighted for its ability to automate those boring, repetitive tasks you probably don't want to do. It uses any tools you give it, which is a key part of its autonomy. We saw some comparisons showing Runner H 0.1 performing well on Web Voyager tasks compared to other models. The idea is to have an AI agent that can really take on those cumbersome workflows. Next up in the world of coding AI, Mistral has just introduced Mistral Code. This is their new AI-powered coding assistant, and it's specifically aimed at enterprise software engineering teams. The big focus here is bringing frontier-grade AI coding into enterprise workflows in a secure and compliant way. Mistral Code offers intelligent code completion, generation, and even autonomous task execution right within your integrated development environment. It's designed to compete with existing tools like GitHub Copilot. Mistral Code bundles their latest AI models with IDE plugins and offers on-premise deployment options, which is a key factor for many larger companies concerned about data privacy and security. They're claiming it offers best-in-class coding models. The idea is to help developers write code faster and automate parts of the coding process. It uses four of Mistral's AI models to achieve this. This move by Mistral shows a clear focus on the enterprise market for their coding AI capabilities. Moving on, let's talk about the latest update to Google's Gemini 2.5 Pro. This model is getting a significant upgrade, and it's currently in preview before general availability. Google is reporting a jump in performance, specifically a 24-point ELO score increase on LM Arena, maintaining its lead, and a 35-point ELO jump in coding benchmarks, putting it at the top of the Web Dev Arena leaderboard. This update is aimed at addressing some issues from previous versions and is being called Google's most intelligent model yet. A major focus of this update is improved coding performance and enhanced capabilities for web applications. They've also mentioned improved video understanding and a more complete UI, leading to a more functional experience. It seems Google is really pushing the boundaries of what Gemini 2.5 Pro can do, especially in complex tasks and reasoning, with thinking built into the model itself. This updated version is expected to become the standard 2.5 Pro model soon. Passing the video generation, HeyGen in their latest update featuring Avatar 4 and the new AI Studio. HeyGen is a popular AI video generator and this update brings some significant improvements. Avatar 4 is being touted as their most lifelike AI avatar yet, with richer facial expressions designed to create short, realistic videos from just one photo and a script using your own voice. The big addition is the new AI Studio Editor. This is a centralized tool for creating professional videos, giving users more creative control over elements like voice, emotion, gestures, and branding. It includes features like voice mirroring and other tools to empower teams. HeyGen is positioning AI Studio as an intuitive platform that puts you in the director's chair, allowing you to craft engaging stories. This update seems focused on enhancing the realism of their avatars and providing a more robust editing environment for creating AI-generated videos. In other news related to video generation, Microsoft has just made OpenAI's Sora video generation available for free on Bing Mobile. This is a pretty big deal because Sora was previously only accessible through paid ChatGPT subscriptions. Now, users can transform text prompts into short videos directly within the Bing Mobile app. This new feature, called Bing Video Creator, is available globally with the exception of China and Russia. It provides a free way for users to experiment with powerful text-to-video capabilities that were previously behind a paywall. It's interesting to see Microsoft integrating Sora into their mobile search platform, making this advanced AI tool much more accessible to a wider audience. 
So that's a quick rundown of some of the major AI updates this week. If you found this helpful and want to keep up with the latest in AI, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Don't miss out on future updates.